All right, Shalom, Mike Young. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rikai Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders and great millstone. Shalom to the elect as teachers were in our true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to get a, get into a lesson on dealing with the nuclear missiles, man, which is the army of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. That's part of the Lord's army, man. But the, uh, what I really want to touch on is that those missiles was made to please Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, to, to, to appease his anger, you know. So, for anything, let's just get this scripture um, pretty much what I'm basing this lesson off of. Uh, Revelations chapter 4. And... Um, And uh, in verse um, 11, it says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, how by Shemel shall to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, all things. That's, that's everything that you see right now, man. It says, And for thy pleasure they are and were created. See, for, the, for, they, for his pleasure they are and were created, man. Just such as the wicked was created for the day of evil. See that was that was that's that's the Lord, cause in that day, his anger is going to be appeased, man. You know, uh, uh, um, pretty much because a prophecy has to come to pass, but it's a certain day that that wicked is going to be taken out to appease his anger, to appease his wrath. You know, so let's get to it, cause it says all three, all things were created. Matter of fact, let's get that in John, Saint John, uh. One and three. It says, All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made anything, man. Because you can say, Well, the Lord didn't create a mailbox, but he put the he put the spirit and, and set it in someone's mind to say, you know what? That would be a great thing to create was a mailbox. But it all goes back to your how about your man was shy, man. It always go back to Yahweh by Shemel Shah because all things were created by his, his creations create, man. You know? You go into the, these these modern chariots such as these cars. Well, the Lord, he he really did that. He gave Esau even the technology to do that, man. You know? Oh, the internet. You know, that unicorn. Well, that was that was really the creation of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. You know, but he, he gave it to these Edomites to, uh, you know, to bring it out, man. Matter of fact, let's get that in um, Isaiah 54. And let me see. Let me see. In verse 16, it says, Behold, I have created. See, I have created the smith that blow the coals and the fire. See? See, it's the Lord. How about some outside this? He's behind everything, man. You know, everything was already uh, 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 set in stone. How it was gonna, be, everything was gonna be laid out. You know, so it ain't none of your own will. It is not of your own doing, man. It's of your how about smell. Shout out to said, "Who have resisted His will?" You know, so it said, "Behold, I have created the smith that blow the coals in the fire and that bring forth an instrument for His work, and I have created the waster." To destroy and and what's the modern day Smith man? These scientists man, you know, it's like you these 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 uh scientists man, modern day scientists man, Re uh specifically specifically the Germans the Temanites, you know, and, and the Lord, He gave them that wisdom to to pretty really to to uh to make those missiles man. He gave them that wisdom to make these missiles, man. You know, because this that's gonna be that um that instrument used to please uh, really appease your how by smell shot. Matter of fact, so I said appease, let's get that in Ecclesiastes. Let's see if I can find that. That with me. Because it says for his pleasure, you know. Let's see if I can find this real quick. Okay, Khan. This is um Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. 
It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which lay in their fury on sore strokes. In the time of discretion, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. See? So it is created. It, it, vengeance uh, is it spirits created for vengeance. Why? So it can appease the wrath of Yahweh by Shemia was shy. You know? And, and guess what? It, it's going to be, uh, the Lord's going to put his spirit in those missiles, man, to guide them to this place, man. To appease the wrath. Then the Lord says he's going to pour out his wrath upon this place. How is he going to do that? By the way of those thermonuclear missiles. Continue on, verse 29. It says, fire and hell. See? And what's a coincidence? Those two are right beside each other, back to back, man. Because that's what it's going to be like. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to rain down fire and hell. Matter of fact, before I continue on in that, let's see. I think it's Wisdom of Solomon. Yep. Wisdom of Solomon 16 in verse 16. It says, For the ungodly that denied to know thee were scourged by the strength of thy arm. See, it, and who is that? That's your hour shot. It says, with strange rains and hails and showers were they persecuted that they could not avoid and through fire were they consumed. See? Because it's, it's going to rain down fire and hail and shower. That's why I said strange rain. Because people don't expect fire to rain down from heaven, man. Which is going to be in the form of those thermonuclear mills. Just how people didn't expect for it to just rain uh, 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 water just rain because it never did rain uh before the days of Noah, man. You know, that's why it was it was it was, it seemed uh um uh, foolish unto the people, man, until that day came. You know? But these strange rains are, are talking about those nuclear missiles, man. It said that they could not avoid. See? So it, it lets you know it's gonna this whole land is pretty much is gonna be uh consumed with fire, man. You know? Ain't no if you got a bunker or if you in and you in that if you in the land of America when those missiles hit man that's it man you know and the only way to escape is by those chariots man the chariots of Yahweh by Shem Shai you know but the strange rain that's talking about the missiles man you know so back in Ecclesiastes thirty nine in verse uh th twenty nine it says fire and hell and famine and death all these were created for vengeance. See? Teeth of wild bees and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to discretion. See? As a matter of fact, let's see. Uh, yeah, kind. Continue on. It says, they shall rejoice in his commandments. See? Because it's a certain day, a certain time where the missiles going to be shut off, man. And they gonna rejoice when when uh, when they when when uh, the Lord give the go to uh to lose those four wins, man. It says, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. Don't you see? A uh, matter of fact, with Tion, it says, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress His word. Matter of fact, um, <laughs> matter of fact, I'm continuing. It says, therefore, from the beginning, I was resolved. And thought upon these things and have left them in writing. See? Because the Lord, he already had this set up from the beginning, man. What he's going to do to this place, man. But it said that these, it says, uh, they shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. See? So it's a, it's a certain time that these, these missiles are going to be shot off. The weapons of his nation, man. This is um, Revelations 9 and 15. It says, And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month for to slay the third part of man. See? And then we just read that it, that sword is made to punish the wicked. You see what I'm saying? Because it says scorpions and serpents as well. And guess what? Uh, um, matter of fact, let me continue on because guess what? It, it, it mentions scorpions and serpents in this. Uh, in Revelation 9 chapter. I mean, it mentions serpents, you know. So let's get that. Uh, Revelation 9 and 16. It said, And the number 
of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, and I heard the number of them. See, see, those are, um, that's the weapon that the Lord have chose, man, to, to, uh, to appease his wrath. That's, that's the instrument the Lord have chose, you know, it said fire, uh, uh, is one of those things. Well, guess what? The missiles come, is, is bringing fire, man, you know, it said, and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having bed, bridge place of fire and of Joseph and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the head of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. And it, yeah, because the head is like as the heads of lion, because that's where the power is at. See the nuclear warhead. That's 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 the power. That's what it, that's what it, that name is born. Just the body itself is just going to propel it over here, man. You know, it says by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issue out of their mouths. Yeah, when the when the when the nuclear warheads hit this place. Once it go into its last phase and get rid of that last little uh, part of the body, that's what's gonna hurt is those is the, the the warheads itself. You know, it says uh it says for the, their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. See? Uh, uh, matter of fact, I think that's in Isaiah calling fiery serpents. Let's see. Isaiah the 14th chapter, I believe. 23rd verse, I believe. Bear with me. Uh, bear with me. Fiery serpent, bear with me, Akim. I know it's Isaiah 14. I just can't find it. Let's see. Let me just type it up. I'm going to go back to that Ecclesiastes 39 because I want to get that word. Um. Okay, here you go. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 29. It says, Rejoice not thou, whole Palestine, Palestina, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. For out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. What's that? It's a fiery flying serpent. What's that? Those missiles, man. You know, and uh, I said I want to get that word. Matter of fact, let me go back to Surah 39 real quick, and then I'm gonna get that word of peace because this is the pleasure of Yahweh by Shem Shah. The Lord created these missiles for a certain time. That's why I said they're gonna be ready when that time is come. They're gonna, they're not gonna transgress, uh, you know, his law, man. They're not going to transgress his commandment. You know. Uh, it says. Um, this is. Uh, Surah 39 28 again. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Which in their fury lay on sore scrolls. In the time of their discretion. They pour out their force. And appease the wrath of him that made them. See and, and guess what. And people just think. Yeah it's, it's different goals that. You know. Because uh, uh, it says spirits. Well. Uh, the Lord will put the spirit on a uh, person to be a serial killer, such as Jeffrey Dahmer, and, and, you know, uh, uh, that sick Edomite, and just, you know, uh, that's just the first one I thought of, uh, Ted Bunny, all these different serial killers. Well, that that was a spirit created for vengeance, man. That See, that appeased the wrath of Yahweh by Shemel Shah because those people who, who those uh, men uh, pretty much murdered what well, hey, well, they was getting judged, man. See that 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 appeased the wrath of the Lord because uh, He is long suffering, you know. And people think that they can just get away. See, you can't escape your how about some young shine. You you go out, man. You best believe you you gonna get paid back for it, you know, one way or another. It it, it can be soon, it can be later, but guess what? At the end of the day, it's gonna uh, uh it's gonna happen.
because the Lord, he's, he's going to, um, he's not going to be, um, just angry forever and just let you do what the hell you want. No, it's going to be a time where that anger is going to be soothed, you know? So this is a peace. It says to bring to a state of peace, quiet, ease, calm, or contentment, pacify, soothe. See? And then, um, this off of dictionary.com and, uh, it gets a, uh, example sentence underneath. It says, to appease an angry king. See, because you're about to outside. We do you just don't know the Lord is angry, man. Matter of fact, let's get something in the blue letter. Let's see. Let's see if I can find this real quick. Bear with me. Bear with me, Aki. I'm gonna see if I can find this real quick. Cause the lawyer how about smell shy. This is um <clears throat> he, he don't just you know let you slide with a hug, man. You know. Let's see, um, uh, yeah, the Lord ain't gonna just let you um just um Let's see if I can find this. That's what it is. Revelation, the 18th chapter. I mean, 11. Okay, this is Revelations 11 and 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. And the time of the day that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them, which destroy the earth. See, it says, and thy wrath. Now, let's get this word wrath, man. Let's And it says, anger, the natural disposition, temper, character, movement, or agitation of the soul, impulse, desire, any violent emotion. See? It says, anger, wrath, indignation. Anger is, is exhibited in punishment, hence used for punishment itself, of punishments inflicted by magistrates. Uh, it says, um... A violent passion, justifiable, abhorrent, see? Anger, it, the nation, vengeance, see? Vengeance again, wrath. See, it, 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 the Lord set up these different scenarios, like, uh, 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 such as cupcake. If you, you know, if you, you know about down here, it, it, she got put a devil. Well, that appeased the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. Cause the scripture said the Lord he he don't acquit the wicked man, you know. But the, back to the point, those missiles are uh, are created to appease the wrath of Yahweh. Matter of fact, it's more on that word appease. Matter of fact, it's more on that word appease. It says to satisfy, allay, relieve, or relieve, 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 Pretty much, um, the uh, going to the etymology, uh, pretty much it pretty much go back to peace, you know. It pretty much goes back to peace. Yeah, because hey, at the end of the day, we 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 uh uh is we giving the Lord no rest, man. See, we pretty much is uh we like a net to the Lord. We keep on, you know what I mean? Uh, uh want to say annoying the Lord, man. We keep putting on these videos. We crying out to you, how about some out shot? Well, guess what? You got to get to a certain point when a baby is crying. You know, you got to get up sooner or later, man. You know, and that's going to that's gonna uh, appease you because guess what? There's no more screaming and crying no more, man. Well, guess what? With this uh this place, America, and the wickedness that has been going on, the Lord is, is very angry with this place, man. You know, and guess what he's gonna send over here? Those missiles, man, to appease the wrath, to 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 uh to soothe his anger. You know? This is on um, Isaiah 13, 
and one. It said, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see, lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they must go into the gates of the note. And that yeah, and that's what we 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 going against these bankers, man. Forget these uh these low level Joe Six packs, man. It said uh upon a high mountain, exalt the voice unto them. Yeah, because Everybody, the 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 the, the, the average America is not, uh, uh, is not, what's the word I want to use, well informed of what's going on here in this place, America, man. This place is going down, man. It in a speeding rate, man. You know, it says I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. See. He said his mighty ones, which are those missiles, man. You know, it said the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people. See, it said like as of a great people, meaning what? There is a simile, man. That's a simile, meaning what? It is is similar to a great people, man. We just uh, read the number of them. What is a uh? It's two hundred thousand thousand, two hundred million missiles, man. It says, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustereth, mustereth the host of the battle. You know? And it said that a tumultuous noise, meaning what? When, when new missiles coming, man, you're going to hear them new missiles, man. That's why you read Judges, the fifth chapter. It says, they that are delivered from the noise of archers. And if you deal with archery, you know that that's a silent weapon for hunting, man. You know? But the, the the modern day uh arrow is those missiles, man. And and like we just read earlier in uh Revelation said they uh the tails issue fire, that's that when it's being propelled over here and all that fuel you wanna hear those flames, yeah you know I mean, uh propelling over here, man. You know, it says verse five, they come from a far country, even from the end of heaven. Even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. See, even the Lord, because the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, the Lord's spirit is going to be in those missiles, man. The Lord's spirit is going to be in those missiles, man. That's why they're not going to bump into each other. Matter of fact, I ended off on that. Because this, this is the pleasure of Yahweh Shemel Shai. This is, this is what the Lord want, man. I'm gonna start at the top and then jump down because hey, this is um hey we, we talking about the day of the Lord man this is this is one of those uh uh would you, would you want to call it the uh I don't want to say props but this is this is one of those uh uh, uh <laughs> this is this is part of the climax of the movie let me say it like that it's those missiles man and I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna jump down to the point this is Joel two and one blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord coming for his nigh at hand. And unless you know, man, the day of the Lord is is not something that everyone in the whole world should be looking forward to. It said you should be trembling right now. And that's and we're trembling right now, man. Because hey, we know uh uh Yahweh was shot, man, is is a uh, a power not to be played with, man. You know. See the day of the Lord is 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 is, is, a, is a great and terrible day, man. See, it's gonna be a lot of death that's going on, uh, during you know before when all hell break loose, but ultimately when 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 those missiles come, man, you know. So that you know that that day is gonna be some serious, man. So this is um, I'm jump down to verse um verse eight. I'm going to start at verse 7. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march everyone on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they, swallow upon, when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. See? Because it's your how about Shemel Shad is going to, uh, the Lord's spirit is going to be in those missiles, man. You know? That's why it's because it's a certain spot uh, each missile is going to hit, man. 
And it said the sword fall upon if it fall upon the sword, it should not be more meaning what this feeble uh defense system America has, man. You know, it's it, it's not, you know, when they it's not gonna uh affect have no no effect on the uh on the uh the outcome of the movie, man. All all the missiles gonna hit this place, man. And other parts of the earth, but mainly the the the, the discretion is really going to be here on this on the shores of America, man. You know, <coughs> it's going to be on the shores of America, you know. But yeah, I can. I just hope they will edify. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the persons and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elected Caesar, where no true sincerity. DTA Abad Babal.